It's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel for another video. So today I'm really excited to be sharing in this video some tips for being a happy and calm mama. This is an area that I struggle in. I am learning every day how to implement these ideas and tips into my own life. I'm nowhere near being an expert, but honestly some tranquility and peace is always a good thing in your life and if you're anything like me being a mom is really hard in fact I think it's actually one of the hardest jobs in this world but it is one of the most rewarding and I'm going to share a few things that I have learned along the way first tip for you on this subject is to implement a routine into your family life. Now, the word routine and schedule has actually become a four-letter word for some people and it can feel really daunting and frustrating and potentially really kind of restrictive. And I have had the opposite experience with routine. I am more of the person who sees a routine as something that actually gives me a lot of freedom and peace of mind. When I say routine, I don't necessarily mean a long to-do list of stuff that has to be done at a certain time and if you miss your time frame if you have lunch an hour later than you did the day before somehow your whole day is gonna go to crap that's not what I mean at all what I mean is picking two or three things every day or every week that you are sure to hit along the way so that there is some structure in your life and sort of an anchor for your day or for your week so um, it depends on the person it depends on what your priorities are and what your individual personality and your lifestyle as a family is for me implementing a very quick cleaning routine every single day really helps me and my kids feel a bit more in control and sane this is not a deep clean I don't take all the curtains down and go dry clean them I don't clean the baseboards or the light switches this is simply making sure that my dishes are in my dishwasher and the laundry is picked up off the floor and when the kids go into a nap the toys are put back in the bin and um, at night it's vacuuming the floor before we go to bed it can be very very simple and it really helps me feel like my life is kind of in control and more put together and it gives me this sense of accomplishment that I really appreciate on a day-to-day -day basis but again it could be different for you um, when I was a sleep-deprived mom of newborn twins, my thing that I was sure to hit every day was morning coffee, and I haven't looked back since. Another thing that's really important every day for me to do is wake up before my kids, and that is easier said than done. I feel ya. I am not a morning person, but when I'm able to sit down and journal a little bit or read my Bible or drink my coffee, I feel like I have a little bit more control. But again, you need to find the thing or few things that really make a difference in your day when you are sure to do them on a regular basis. My next tip is to do something to invest into yourself. Again, this is going to look different for every mom. For me, it's really important to have a space where I can be creative. And so I have a couple of YouTube channels, if you didn't know that already. Um, and this is a space where I can just sit down in this corner of my room and be creative, put my work into something and my creative energy into something that produces a product and I feel fulfilled and I feel like I have been able to express myself and it's wonderful to be able to do that. But if you're not someone who's creative, maybe it's going on a coffee date with a girlfriend or going and getting a pedicure or all of the above whatever it is whether it's a hobby or something that you do for yourself to relax make sure that you implement it on a regular basis so that you're investing in your own mental health and your own peace of mind it will make you a more calm and happy mama I guarantee it And my third and final tip, which is something that you probably have heard a lot, but I feel like it goes in one ear and out the other, 
It is to stop comparing. We live in a world of social media and Instagram feeds and hashtags and posts where we are overwhelmed with this idea that somehow our lives have to live up to somebody else's standard. This can totally steal your joy in what you are doing in the moment in this season of your life as a mom. Theodore Roosevelt said, comparison is the thief of joy. And to be honest, growing up, I thought this was a quote by my own mother because I've heard her say it so many times. But actually, she was just quoting good old Teddy Roosevelt. And back when he coined this phrase, life was so much simpler than it is today. And so we really have to focus on not letting comparing ourselves to other people becomes something that steals our joy. Now I think it is wonderful that we have an outlet kind of like I do with YouTube and Instagram to share the highlight reels of our life and the beautiful wonderful moments but I would encourage you to not look at the beautiful wonderful moments that you see on Instagram and YouTube and compare it to your real life. Don't compare the nitty gritty of your life to someone's highlight reel. While it is wonderful that they are able to share those beautiful pictures and videos, it does not represent the entirety of what their life looks like. Case in point, I'm sitting here with a face of makeup on and a cute clean shirt, except for the one little snot stain I've got right here from my baby who has a cold. Just ignore that. But I'm sitting here in sweatpants on my bed. Yes, my background is tidy, but right here beside me, I have a pile of oh, Old Navy bags, Target bags, a pile of laundry, and oh, there's even a dirty diaper from when I changed my daughter's diaper this morning over there in the corner. So what you don't see off camera definitely still shapes a person's life and each of us have our own individual messes and struggles and if we just accept that and stop comparing ourselves to each other, I feel like we will have more peace and we will have more happiness and we will be able to be more calm and centered as a mom. I hope this video was an encouragement to you. Just speaking these words fills me with encouragement and joy as well. Thank you so much for allowing me to share my heart with you today. Again, I am nowhere near being an expert on this subject. I have a lot of learning and growing to do, but I did enjoy sharing what I have learned so far with you in today's video. I hope you will come and subscribe to my YouTube channels. I love making videos here on YouTube. I love sharing posts on Instagram, whether they are the nitty-gritty or the beautiful I love sharing it all and I would love to have you along for the journey and thank you all so much for watching this video I'll catch you later you